Hi friends, this is Dr. Rapoor Mehra and last 48 hours before the exam, the only thing I want to tell you is that this is the time when you need to maintain your rhythm. It's no more about the knowledge. Knowledge, I think so, is acquired enough to crack any exam. But what matters most this time is maintaining your temperament. It is about staying calm, catching enough sleep for last two days, creating a self-belief that you are in the race. The secret is everybody will start from a zero, right? It's a level playing ground. And if you look at the options with wonderful eyes set on the answer, which you have seen earlier, you're going to score well. The best part is you have been preparing and you are here till the end. The best part is majority are not doing it. They have already quit studying at this moment. So if you are studying at this moment, you are among that last 10%, right? And the stakes, right? And the qualification chances are very high that you will be through if you just maintain your rhythm and calm for next 48 hours. You know, it is said that uh, many a times I remember this uh, interview by Harsha Bhogle in 1996 World Cup, the mighty Australians who were who were just the favourites in the tournament were playing against Sri Lanka and uh, they were doing good. And Harsha Bogle went and asked, uh, took uh, uh, Rana Tunga, the captain of Sri Lanka, an interview and asked him uh, about his views about the match. And... Uh, then he went to when then he went to Steve Waugh, then captain of uh, Australia, and you know Harsha Bhogle when he went to the commentary section he was asked, who do you think is going to win the match? This is what he said, I feel Sri Lanka has an upper edge because their mindset is very strong, right? And then he was asked why, you know, he said I will tell you at the end of uh, the match if my prediction goes wrong or right. At the end, Sri Lanka won. Australia was defeated. And you know why Harsha Bhogle predicted this? Harsha Bhogle said when he went to Rana Tonga, he said that I want to focus on the best performance of my team. My victory is not dependent on what the opponent does, what the Australian does. My victory is dependent upon what our team does on this day. We have been preparing for this day. It is not given to everybody by good God above. We have a chance to create history and write history. Whatever happens is destiny. But we don't want to repent that we didn't give our best. So today, we want to give with all our might. So Rana Tunga was focused on his team's performance. But when I went to Steve Waugh, the only question he asked is, what did Rana Tunga say? And there I knew there was a team focusing on their performance and the other one worried about what the others will do. And this is what you have to do. Rhythm is everything. Maintain your rhythm. It's your rhythm that will set your pace. It's you who will decide your fate. If you focus, you can be the best on that day and defeat the mighties, the mightiest, the biggest players of the game. The predictions can change in three and a half hours if you focus and maintain your rhythm. All the very best. Thank you very much.